up, man from Urchfab. It's going to be part 53 on the old mongrel. So in the last video I did some fiberglass in on the uh, rear arch and I think we can all agree it didn't really go very well. Working with fiberglass is definitely um, not for me. I've got some steel arches for the back which we're going to do the same thing to basically. We're gonna weld them in and then widen them out and do it all out of steel so it looks good. So I'll show you those in a second but I've got a new piece of kit in the workshop which is a bit of a game changer. So Rob from Extreme Plasma supplied me with this. So I drove up to uh, Gloucester which is where he's based and picked this up from just around the corner. It was uh, second hand, but it's pretty much brand new, hadn't done much work. Uh, so just installed it with my mate Dave, cleaned it up, and it's good to go. So it's a three ton, British made uh, mechanical lift with the screw in there rather than hydraulic. So cheers to Extreme Plasma for hooking me up with that. Go check them out. Steel Mark 1 Escort bubble arches. These are from Magnum Car Panels, which you've probably heard of if you're into the uh, if you're into restoring cars or you've ever done any repair work using panels. I've always used Magnum panels on all my uh, stuff. The Mark II's got all new Magnum front end on it, wing. Um, it needs some panels in the back, which I'll get Magnum for. They're just, you know they're gonna be a good fit. And, um, and yeah, they're, they're always good, so I've always stuck with them. So yeah, John from Magnum panels hooked me up with these. So I'll put a link to their website where you can look at all the stuff they make, but if you are into classic Fords, they have a whole selection of uh, classic Ford panels. You know, pretty much every panel for a Mark II, Mark I Escort, Cortina stuff, um, all the old Ford stuff, as well as as well as lots of other uh, brands of car. But particularly old Ford stuff, they're great for. So what, what we're going to do is just yeah, these are going to be um, actually welded in now, so they're not going to have any any bolted fixing showing. So first thing is to trim this off, flatten out all these uh, folds where they would line up with the Mark 1 Escort panels, we need to get rid of those and uh, flatten this bottom corner off to get it to follow the sill but uh, the end result should be a lot better. Right, so I just cleaned it up and then put some weld through prime on it. I'm going to weld up all these holes before I put that on, just because uh, I think it'll be easier. A friend of mine lent me this air juggler or uh, edge setter. They get called sometimes for doing a stepped, stepped edge, same as the manual one I got, and this one's got a hole punch. So we're going to try this out, see what it works like. Oh, 
That's a lot easier than drilling a hole. That works really well. I'm uh, definitely going to get myself one of these. That's just obviously the little step so you can overlay your panels. Definitely save you a lot of time. I will uh, stick a link to that in the description or something similar. Got that on, fits really nice. Um, the only bits I need to do are make like a little uh, return lip to go in the bottom of there. Just spot those bottom corners, same the other side. Up two inches on this side, four inches there. But um, I need to split this in a place where it's going to be easy to shape.
Right, done. I don't like doing jobs twice, but that was a job that definitely needed to do it again. And uh, it's much better that it's in steel. Obviously, uh, this will be blended into the panel now, so it's not gonna look like it's uh, got the bolted fixing. This is uh, pretty tight. This is how all the cool kids would run it. I'm gonna be running uh, the bottom arms I'm going to run her a little bit shorter so it'll actually give me another 10 mil wheel clearance got to do it all again now on the other side but I'm going to move them out and do that on the ramp obviously I'm not going to film it 
because it will just be exactly the same as this. And I'll make those two little uh, return pieces underneath. But that'll be easier on the ramp too. Um, there's not really a lot else I can do on this now until it goes to paint. And uh, I'm just waiting for a date for the paint. So yeah, I, I don't know. I don't think there's going to be any more videos on this until it's in, until uh, it's being painted. So not sure when that's going to be at the minute, but um, I've got some other stuff I can do some videos on. The Mark II Escort. So I'll um, I'll do some stuff on that to fill the gaps. So yeah, thanks again uh, Magnum Car Panels for supplying these. Definitely uh, look much better on here than the fiberglass abomination that I uh, cobbled together. Uh, stick a link in the description, go check them out. But that's going to be it for this one, cheers for watching, see you on the next one.